Hey everybody, it's Gecko here, back with another nightly walk and talk. Uh, I figure I get up early enough in my morning, your evening, to, uh, you know, go and get the mail, so I take y'all with me so I can do these uh, walk and talks on a regular-ish basis. <laughs> So let me turn you around right quick. All right, well, <clears throat> not too much has really gone on. I mean, I, I just like talking to you guys and kind of helps me sort through things that, that happen, that come up, plans I want to make, <clears throat> you know, goals that I want to set. So uh, yesterday, uh, they've been, you know, we had the whole fiasco, well, the upcoming fiasco about the Walmart phones that we have to have, quote unquote, so they can track our stocking rate, uh, which honestly, I don't know how they are gonna do that because I'm not gonna scan every box I stock. You know, I don't need to. If I know where it goes, I'm not gonna scan it, you know? So anyway, uh, that's still upcoming, you know? The whole discussion about that crap. Um, but apparently they called a bunch of my co-workers into the office last night and uh, wrote them up. And they actually let a couple of people go. And it's people that I actively work with while I'm stalking. You know, and they're they're bullshitting and they're talking and they're they're laughing. They're having fun. And honestly, you know, they may not be as fast as they sh could be, but they're getting a the job done, you know, and they're, they're like just out of high school. They're young, just, you know, more than likely one of their first jobs. And I understand that we're there to do, we're there to do a job and you have to do the job and you have to do it well. You know, but they are getting the work done. And the ones that were let go were uh, more than likely for attendance issues. Because, uh, you know, you only have the five points. Anything over five points, then they're going to let you go. So. Uh, so that was the loveliness of work. They didn't call me into the office, even though I work with them and I'm sitting there talking right along with them. But, you know, we have our our coaches and our leads, who are our bosses. Um, they'll randomly just walk by the aisle and stand there and watch us. You know, and the leads, I mean, sometimes they are stocking in an area that we're not so we don't necessarily see them but the times that we do see them they're not doing a damn thing they're sitting around talking amongst themselves and you know just watching us they're not doing anything productive and that pisses us off because you know the leads they, they have to stock just like we do they're just managing us, you know? Doesn't mean they get to get out of the work, which is the excuse that they're, they're giving us. We gotta manage these other guys, you know? We don't, we don't have time to be doing the, the same thing they're doing. So, well, that's not the job description, buddy. Anyway. Um, like, I'll go... Uh, like every time that I have left my aisle from stocking to like go to the restroom or something, I see our coach, which is, which is the, the main boss at night. He's busting his ass like stocking pets or chemicals or whatever. You know? Anyway. Uh, I've been kind of catching up on YouTube a little bit recently. I got to watch the rest of Alexander Sealing's through hike of the American Discovery Trail. 
that was awesome. He, he made it to the Pacific Ocean. He had a whole, whole big ass group of people waiting for him when he got there. Apparently one of his friends had put it out to the news service that he was finishing up his hike and that it was for, you know, uh, veteran suicide prevention. And they had a whole big gathering when he got there and it was so emotional. It was awesome. So if you ever get a chance to, and you haven't been following his through hike, go back and watch it. It was an awesome journey, you know, 5,000 miles across the United States in like uh, 13 months, I think it was, there or thereabouts. Um, and then um, I'm right in the middle of watching Nightcrawler's first day on AZT, the Arizona Trail. And, uh, you know, he's been going through some shit lately with his with his ex-girlfriend. I'm not going to get into it because it's not my place. Um, but apparently he's found himself somebody else. And, you know, which is good for him. And this, this person's actually nice to him, which is, you know, he, he deserves it. He's a nice guy. I mean, he, he comes off as being kind of brash and confrontational, but he's really not. He, he's just one of those types of guys that's not into authority figures, you know? And that, that's a legitimate stance, you know? I mean, especially when so many of people in authority abuse their power, you know, and harass people for no goddamn reason. Anyway, uh, I've got work tonight and tomorrow night and then I'll be off for my weekend I don't really have anything planned <coughs> sorry um, I didn't sleep really good last night at all my hands or my fingers were hurting I think I I was I was picking up cigarette butts before I went to bed because you know, while it's cold outside, I don't have an ashtray on my front porch, and that's where I like to smoke lately. So I'll, you know, put the cigarette butts on a little pillar post, and uh, the wind blows them off, and then I have to go out, the, you know, around the little yard there and pick pick up the cigarette butts, which I don't have a problem with. Uh, my wife was kind of bitching at me the other day about them but i said once it gets warmer i'll pick them up <laughs> and i did but i think i got into some stinging nettle uh and my finger was hurting and itching and everything else that and of course tearing open boxes kind of makes the, my fingertips hurt <laughs> i don't wear gloves or anything uh So, I didn't get a lot of sleep last night. Then my eldest daughter's like, can you take me to work tomorrow? I I gotta be there at 11, but you can drop me off at like 10.30. And I'm like, usually by 10 o'clock I'm in bed. And I didn't sleep good last night, so I'm gonna be tired. She says, well, uh, you can drop me off at 10. It'll only take you 15 minutes to get back home. I'm like, oh, all right, no problem. So, uh, we'll see how I feel after tonight, going in tomorrow. Uh, if, you know, I may call in, I don't know. I'm seriously thinking about starting to put out more job applications. Because I, I, I don't know if this Walmart job is going to work out. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'll, I I have fun with the people that I work with, and uh, the the coaches and the leads aren't bad. I mean, they're they're kind of cool to talk to. It's just their work ethic and the things they do at for work purposes I don't agree with, and you know that makes it kind of difficult. Especially if they're going to be freaking tracking us. Because I'm kind of 
you know, uh, self-conscious about how fast I work. And I have a feeling that it's not going to be fast enough for them. Hold on, I, I got to get in here and get the mail. All right, I'm back. I didn't really get anything. It was just a, a Texas co-op power magazine. The electric company that we're... We get our electric service through as a, a co-op. So we get a little magazine every month. So uh, I'm gonna take the long way back. Uh, that's one of the things about getting up at six o'clock. I don't have to leave the house to go to work until 9.30. So I've got time, it's only seven o'clock. So, uh, so yeah, I'm right in the middle of watching Nightcrawler's first day on the AZT, and he had a little bit of trouble getting there. I mean, not really trouble. His his girlfriend person now. Um, picked him up from in Mexico and and uh, drove him back and they were going to go out to the trail that night but they got followed by Border Patrol and once they got to the place they were going to drop him off you know they, they said oh there's a bunch of illegals just over there and they're just waiting for people you know blah 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 and they didn't really they didn't really want him there I mean they have no authority to to really arrest them or 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 make them leave because they're not doing anything illegal now it's a public road it just happens to go along the border you know and they're obviously united states citizens so they have every right to be there but they didn't really feel comfortable so they went back into a town and got a hotel room went out there the next morning but he's on the trail and uh, his plan is to go north on the Arizona Trail, and once he completes it, cut east to the Continental Divide Trail and continue on. Because, you know, he's already hiked the New Mexico section of the CDT, so in his book, he doesn't really have to do it twice, which is, you know, legitimate. I mean, he... he um, it probably wouldn't count as an official through hike because you have to do that uh, continuous footpath along the trail in a calendar year. You know, 12 months. It can be any 12 months. It just has to be 12 consecutive months. Um, but in his book, that's enough for him, you know, to do. Well, I mean, as long as he finishes the Continental Divide Trail, it'll be a through hike in his book. So. And, you know, us as patrons, and because I, I am on his Patreon, or, well, I was. I had to freeze my debit card because I got gas last week somewhere, and then I had some charges pop up using my debit card that I didn't recognize so I froze it and I've got my bank's fraud division looking into it and fixing it and I still haven't called the bank to get them to send me out a replacement card or well a new debit card which is one of those things I have to be awake after 9 o'clock in the morning to do. <laughs> uh, and, of course, I haven't called back Premier Disability Services either. I'll, I'll probably end up doing that on Thursday uh, when I, I don't have to go to sleep right away to get up and go to work the next night. Or I may just do it on Friday. I don't know. Anyway, so th that's kind of what I've been watching lately. That and I have been watching, uh, not in the past week or so, but I've been trying to get caught up on 
Adventures with a Crazy Bet, his through hike of the uh, American Discovery Trail. Um, so I have that to look forward to yet. Um, so a little update on the Billings, Montana po possibility that I talked about in my last video. Um, the travel nursing company that sent her that email, uh, she found out also does work on native reservations and hospitals on native reservations, which she has always been interested in. Uh, so she's going to actually give these people a call because the, uh, the area she was talking about was like an hour outside of Glacier National Park in the Blackfeet Reservation. That would be cool. And I would, I would hope that she would let me go along with her because Glacier was awesome. And it might be since it would be a Sobo through hike, um, I may be able to talk her into helping me do a southbound Continental Divide Trail through hike. This is the first time I've even voiced it in my head, but that would be cool. And because I was talking about, um, you know, possibly getting on the CDT if we were in Billings, Montana for like a week or two, you know? But I don't know. The only problem with, uh, with that is, is I would be starting my through hike at high elevation which doesn't give me any time to prepare my, my lungs for the altitude change. And, you know, like I would have going northbound. I'd be starting or closer to sea elevation, sea level elevation, and working my way gradually up so my lungs would have time to adjust along the way. I'd be starting at the end, you know, at the highest elevation, pretty much. And working my way down to sea level, which is not optimal for me as a smoker. Because I remember when I got up to Billings last time, um, I couldn't sleep really good for like the first two weeks because um, of the breathing, you know, <clears throat> and the dizziness and the nausea and everything. I had to get used to it. <clears throat> and doing a through hike like that is uh, starting out that way. I, I can't even imagine, but I would attempt it. You know, because, you know, I, uh, I'd be going through the mountains in Glacier National Park to start with. But once that's over, you know, you're getting back down in elevation for a while. You're not really going over mountain to mountain. I mean, you're going through the bob. There's some elevation there. But for the most part, you're in valleys and stuff where you're lower in elevation until you get to the San Juans. You know? And you go through the Great Basin, which is a lower elevation. Um, but, you know, it's, it's possible. But I'm, I'm not planning on it right now. Uh, I, I got uh, my paycheck yesterday. And I have 50 more dollars deposited into my quote-unquote hiking checking account. So it's over a hundred dollars now sitting in there and I'm just gonna keep building that up 
for the next weeks and months that I'm at Walmart, potentially. <laughs> but, you know, if I go somewhere else, I'm going to I'm gonna do the same thing. Do a split direct deposit. Because even with that uh, $50 set aside, my paycheck was still over $1,000 for the two weeks. And it, it was a full paycheck. Um, I didn't miss any hours, I don't think, during those two weeks. Uh, this next paycheck, I'll have missed a day so far. Um, and if I call in tomorrow, uh, it would be two days that I miss. So, I don't know. We'll see how I feel tomorrow. I also need to double check on what missing a day of work counts as an occurrence. If it's half a point or a point. Uh, I think it's a point. I think if you're late, it's half a point. Or if you leave early, it's half a point. I think if you miss the entire shift, it's a full point. Anyway. Uh, let's see. I don't really think there's anything else going on, really. Um, and we're still waiting for our tax return to come back. There's no telling how long that's going to take. It's been almost a week now. I haven't, I haven't checked the bank balance today. And uh, I haven't even checked my email yet. <laughs> uh, you know, and I say I, uh, I would possibly see about hiking the CDT if we go to Billings or that that place outside of. Glacier National Park, but you know, I still would like to start on the Appalachian Trail. Um, for one, it's the traditional start of the Triple Crown, but it's also at a lower elevation, so I could get through hike experience, get my, my body trained, get my lungs trained, before I hit any sort of elevation from like the, the PCT going through the, the Sierras or the, the CDT going through the San Juans and the, the, uh, the uh, glacier, the mountains up there. And uh, I guess it would still be the Rockies. Um, Which I, I think the San Juans are actually part of the Rocky Mountains. I'm not sure. It's that same. It's, it's. I don't know. I mean, it's all the continental divide. I mean, it's all one land feature. It's just different mountain ranges within that land feature. But I think it's all considered Rocky Mountains. The Rocky Mountain chain. I don't know. You know, and since the, uh, the Appalachian Trail is the traditional beginning of the Triple Crown, I would meet a lot of people on trail that could potentially also be with me on the other trails. You know, if, if we go in the same years. So, you know, there is that. You know, you don't really have that 
potentiality if you do it if you do it in any other order you know I mean most people that oh, there's a cop most people that uh, do the triple crown do it doing the Appalachian Trail first then the PCT and then the CDT so you get people like like Dixie who hiked with Perk on the Appalachian Trail then they went ahead and did the PCT together and then went ahead and did the CDT together so they hiked all three trails together which and it's, it's kind of cool to me that you have those those friendships that kind of go on year after year you know and you get those experiences together that's something that I'm kind of hoping for when I get out there Actually, actively checking that house. It's one of the houses that ha hasn't been moved into yet. He's going from room to room, too. I guess maybe they had a, a complaint about somebody squatting or something, maybe. Maybe he'll come out and talk to me. See if I've seen anything. Her. Anyway, that's pretty much everything that's been going on since the last video that I put up yesterday. over to the other side in case she wants to drive by and talk to me I had somebody uh, another cop a couple months back you know, stopped me while I was on my walk because you know I'm a night shift person I walk at night um, asking me if I'd seen uh, seen a guy kind of creeping around these houses because a lot of them aren't moved into yet, but they leave the lights on and they don't close. Sometimes they don't even close the doors. They're wide open. You know, front door is wide open at night. So anybody can walk in. You know, so I guess somebody had called, you know. And, and the, the fear was they were going in there and uh, scavenging, you know, copper piping and stuff to sell. You know, illegally so I don't know I told him I'd keep an eye out and and he came back later and said oh it was we found who we were looking for they were they were supposed to be here they were a contractor and blah 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 it's just they were working really late into the night and I, I guess one of the residents of the neighborhood got kind of creeped out by it and called the cops <laughs> so anyway You know, I keep, I hope, I keep hoping that things will go to plan and I'll be able to through hike this next hiking season, you know, in 2023. Um, remember I had, 
I had originally wanted to start a through hike this year, but with the move and everything, and I didn't get, I didn't get approved for the disability. That didn't happen. But now that I've got the chance for an appeal, it may be that I get uh, approved for it and be able to go out next hiking season. Or if my wife gets into travel nursing and wants to do it continuously afterward, you know, once her first assignment's up and everything, and wants to keep going on other assignments that I may be able to get out on a trail, uh, the Appalachian Trail, um, in March of 2024. We'll just have to see. My plans on hiking the trail have not changed. I still want to do it. It's just, you know, trying to get the finances and everything to be able to do it. And nobody's joined my Patreon. I mean, obviously, I'm not doing anything yet. So, you know, why would they? You know, until I'm actually on the trail, you know, putting out content that people are willing to watch and support. You know, I can't really expect too much till then. It's just like my uh, subscriber base. It, it, it's inching upward, but um, I'm not really gonna get the bulk of my followers until I start actually through hiking, which I totally appreciate you guys subscribing and watching my videos don't get me wrong um i enjoy putting out this content for you guys um but i'm always planning for the future i was trying to get out on a trail and eventually it'll happen So, I'm getting close to the house, so I'm going to go ahead and cut it down. Let me turn you around. All right, well, as always, if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button. We're still at 137 uh, subscribers. Uh, if you like this video, found any worth in it, any entertainment value, go ahead and hit that like button. While you're at it, swipe that notification bell to be notified any time I upload a new video to Gecko's Trails. That being said, y'all stay safe, stay sane, get out there and hike a trail. We'll catch you later, next time. Stay safe, bye.